Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. For 998 days, less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Yesterday, overnight and during the day, Russia stepped up its missile and drone attacks against Ukraine's cities and infrastructure, reports Suspilne. Just overnight, Russian forces launched 210 missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles, of which 144 were destroyed by Ukraine's air defense. Two railway workers were killed in Dnipro oblast, one woman in Lviv oblast, two energy workers were killed in the Odessa region. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky informed that Ukrainian F-16 pilots shot down nearly 10 air targets during the attack. Later in the evening, a Russian ballistic missile struck a residential building in Sumy. At least 10 people are reported to have been killed, including two children, and more than 50 were injured. As a result of the rocket attack on the morning of November 17, several substations on which depend the external power supply of Ukrainian nuclear power plants were damaged. Due to the shelling, electricity production was reduced, reports Ekonomichna Pravda. In the result of the attack, power outages schedule was initiated in Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that this attack is, quote, the answer to all those who wanted to achieve something with Putin through conversations, phone calls, hugs, appeasement. Today, this dough of peace sent us another barrage of Kinjal and Kaliber missiles. That's his diplomacy, unquote. The president was alluding to the recent call of German Chancellor Olaf Scholz with Putin. We would really appreciate if you could rate us ideally with 5 stars and leave a glowing review in the app where you are listening to this podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify and others. This really helps more people to find out about the hearts from Ukraine and truth about Russia's invasion. The New York Times informs that US President Joe Biden has for the first time authorized Ukrainian forces to use long-range Atakams missiles to strike Russian territory, reports Ukrainska Pravda. The newspaper sources say that initially the missiles are likely to be used against Russian and North Korean troops to protect Ukrainian forces in Russia's Kursk oblast. The decision to allow Ukraine to use long-range Atakams missiles against targets in Russia was reportedly a response to Russia's unexpected move to involve North Korean forces in the conflict, officials stated. Though the sources do not expect that this shift will drastically alter the course of the war, one of the objectives of Biden's policy change, they say, is to send a message to North Koreans that their forces are vulnerable and that they should refrain from sending more troops to aid Russia. American officials believe that while Ukrainians are likely to initially use the missiles against Russian and North Korean forces in Kursk Oblast, Biden may authorize their use elsewhere in Russia. Some US officials have expressed concerns that Ukraine's use of long-range missiles on Russian territory could provoke Russian leader Vladimir Putin into retaliatory measures against the US and its coalition partners. However, others in the administration say they consider these fears overstated. According to the sources, Biden has concluded that the potential benefits, Ukraine achieving otherwise unattainable critical objectives, and the US sending a clear message to North Korea about the cost of its involvement, outweigh the risks of escalation. Reuters, citing three sources, informs that Ukraine plans to conduct its first long-range attacks in the coming days, without revealing details due to operational security concerns. The initial strikes are likely to be conducted with Atakams missiles, which have a range of up to 306 kilometers. According to Le Figaro sources, France and the UK, following the US, have reportedly granted Ukraine permission to use their long-range Scalp and Storm Shadow missiles to strike on Russian territory. Storm Shadow Scalp is a long-range air-to-ground missile jointly developed by the UK and France and designed to target stationary objectives, including well-protected sites like bunkers, even in adverse weather conditions and at any time of day. The missile's warhead weighs 450 kilograms. Storm Shadow missiles can be mounted on Ukrainian Soviet-era jet aircraft. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky reacted to the news saying in his evening video address that long-range capabilities for Ukraine's army is one of the key points of the plan to strengthen Ukraine, according to the Victory Plan. Quote, Today, there is a lot of talk in the media about us receiving permission for respective actions. 
but strikes are not carried out with words, these things are not announced. The missiles will speak for themselves, definitely." Unquote. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.